course, yes. There has to be. <laughs> um, I think that, um, I know some religions base a lot of um, things on miracles, and I do think that children, and when you have a child, it's like a miracle. And that's probably the closest thing to, to me knowing that there's something else greater, because to see that happen is just, a, it's insane. <laughs> it's such an evolution, you know, because you, um, you have certain ideologies when you're younger, and then the older you get, you start to question things. The more you learn, the more you start to question. And I think it's evolved from being something very structured and following what other people tell you to believe to developing your own set of what is right and wrong for you in your life. So, I don't know, I think it, it definitely breaks away from any sort of institutionalized um, religion into something much more personal. It's funny because when things aren't going your way, I always blame God when things don't go the way they're supposed to, but when they go really well, I always thank God. <laughs> so I, I don't, I've been angry at God, I guess, for things that have happened, but I don't think I've lost the feeling of a higher entity being there. We're human, that would be the same with our relationship with God, I think, that, um, you know, you have good times and bad times, but, you know, God is still always there, you know. Um, so I think it's just evolved, you know, after time you're not as mad at someone who did something <laughs> to you or <laughs> um, you forget that kind thing that somebody did, you know, as time goes. So I guess it just evolves. I'm inspired by people of different faiths all the time. Um, you know, sometimes, especially I think when I was younger, um, you were taught that people of certain faiths or religions weren't um, weren't as good as you. Um, but as you grow up and you see more of the world and you meet a more diverse group of people, um, you see that that's very much not the case. <laughs> and um, um, from fasting to um, volunteering to, to things that I, you know, am not very good about doing, even though I consider myself a faithful and religious person, you see people of other faiths that have much more um, discipline and seem to be closer to God than I am. <laughs> so. I think also, like, faith is something that's very internal. So my relationship with God isn't the same as my husband's relationship with God. Um, my daughter's relationship with God, she's very young. She doesn't question things the way that adults do. Um, and so I think your relationship with God is as individual and personal as each individual is. You know, I think that there's a lot more religious tolerance now than there was before. You know, we're seeing um, gay marriage become legal in so many states, and uh, as children grow up now, they don't notice race as much. Um, we have a black president. You know, it's, it's, and I think religion is in that category as well. As the world becomes smaller, that the tolerance of different religions and faiths becomes greater. Sometimes when you pray, you can kind of um, release some of that anxiety and put that weight on God's shoulders instead of yours. Um, it's not always effective, <laughs> but um, that's probably the first thing I do. Um, I don't know, I guess that would be my biggest fear, that something would happen to my husband or daughter and we always pray and are thankful for our health and each other. So. I definitely felt the presence of God when my daughter was born because it's such a miracle when you see this this life that has come into the world and um, so many things have to go just right to make it happen and, and she was healthy and so that was miraculous and I felt 
God was there. And, and I think that, um, I think that I also feel the spirit of like loved ones at certain times. And I think that, um, that is a way to feel closer to God as well. Um, sometimes I pray to Joe's mother who passed away because I do think that, um, she kind of watches over us as well. And I think that she's kind of a guardian angel to Remy. So, um, I know it probably sounds silly, but I think, um, when you, when you also, um, pray or talk to, um, people that have passed that that's kind of, to me, they're kind of an interim between you and God in a way too. People who are very faithful, um, they don't tend to be as scared of things because I guess they're able to put some of that burden on, on God or, or a higher being. And, um, when you're very faithful, I, I would think that you, it would be easy to do that. Um, I don't think that I'm to that point of being faithful where, um, I'm able to relinquish power of everything <laughs> and wanting to have that, that power is, is not giving yourself wholly to God and, and being faithful. And so, um, you know, not being in control and stuff, I guess. People just aren't nice to each other. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. Um, we've become very self-serving and materialistic and I'm guilty of it too. But I mean, if, if you really look at the basic principles, you know, be kind to your neighbor, do unto others, um, share, <laughs> you know, the things that you kind of learned before kindergarten even. And um, if you just kind of look at those basic principles, if we all did that, Gandhi, uh, Mother Teresa, um, people who are not self-serving, who are helping others, somehow the agenda is changed so that it's all about the individual and so I think that that we've become very self-serving and that's that I think is a big issue things really aren't in our control and there's a saying let go and let God and um, it's easier said than done um, but I think that 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 would provide peace. Um, I think it is difficult. Um, marriage is difficult, but it's worth it if you find the right person. Um, so, it might not be easy, but it would be worth it. My name is Wendy, and I do believe.